and welcome to our five minute showcase focused on case based learning for classroom ready teachers, building self efficacy and resilience through narrative pedagogy. Now, this project was conducted by me, Lisa Papatriano, and I'm based at the CDU Adelaide Learning Centre in South Australia, and my colleague, Al Strangeways, based at the CDU Alice Springs campus. Now, today, Al and I will be sharing about our project, and we'll focus on three key elements. Number one, why we're here. Number two, where we've been. And number three, where we're going. The broad aim of this research was to develop a new space for partnerships between schools and Charles Darwin University in which to systematically approach the use of real place-based narratives in teacher learning. And our key objective was to develop a resource or a website that contained multimodal case studies of pre-service and mentor teachers based in Adelaide and in Alice Springs. The placement experience is central to student learning. It's that high-risk environment where the students try to put into practice what they've learned at university. They place high value on the learning experience here, seeing it as key to getting them classroom ready and managing in practice curriculum, behaviour and learning resources. They're often anxious though about making the most of it due to the shortness of many placements and the perceived lottery of getting a good match with an experienced and effective mentor. Students also struggle to reflect effectively about the experiences and so integrate their learning from here with the learning undertaken at university. We wanted to explore ways that the university could offer other kinds of context-based experiential learning that were outside of the placement setting and beyond the mentoring dynamic in order to improve their professional learning. We saw narrative and the case study as a way of offering an imaginative experience of the real classroom setting. The complexity of the professional context is at the heart of the difficulty of applying the rules of the high ground to the swampy lowlands of professional practice. It often doesn't work, this application and it's indicative of, of what Spiro and his team of cognitive psychologists call the gap between introductory methods of learning and advanced knowledge acquisition. How do we move students from introductory learning methods to respond flexibly to the messy application situations? The narrative form of the case study, with its emphasis on the individual specifics of particular people in particular places dealing with particular situations, offers a version of the complexity and the humanness of the real life setting in which we need to apply theory. This project is significant because of the need for pre-service teachers to build resilience and coping strategies and also to be classroom ready. This is a key concern for many policymakers, stakeholders and graduate teachers themselves. Our project consisted of a mixed method pilot study that was made up of three stages of data collection. Stage one involved a series of professional learning workshops that focused on case writing and case interpretation. And a series of resources were developed to aid the case writing interpretation workshop. Stage two involved the development of a multimodal website where we, the researchers, uploaded the students' case studies and the interpretation process then began to occur online using electronic templates and the comments and discussion sections on the website allowed the students to share and discuss their interpretations collaboratively. Stage three then involved a survey, semi-structured interviews and a focus group to evaluate the workshops and the website, but also to gain a better understanding of the pre-service teachers' perceptions of classroom readiness and theory practice disjunctions. Now the majority of the pre-service teachers reported that case writing was very important or extremely important in helping them connect theory to practice. Now the case writing process also appeared to empower the pre-service teachers because they were in charge of their own learning. Again, the majority of pre-service teachers reported that case interpretation was very important or extremely important in helping them connect theory to practice. It enabled them to move beyond simple descriptions of experience to critically analysing problems from multiple perspectives and multiple theories. I really enjoyed this experience because 
it, it provided me with a, a framework and a scaffold and a way to break down a scenario or an experience from my own teaching. Um, and, and to not just break it down in terms of me looking at it, but in terms of how other people might see this situation. Um, I also really like the fact that I could see other people's cases and other people's scenarios, even if they were from a early childhood or a primary setting or from a setting outside of Alice Springs. I really enjoyed being able to see that. The case writing and interpretation workshops were very effective and there was a broad balance between the effectiveness of these workshops. The pre-service teachers identified key areas that they thought case studies for learning would enhance their classroom readiness. Now the key areas related to their personal development, students, teachers' work and interactions with colleagues, with the table below showing their top five ranked within each of these categories. But overall, the multi-focus of the narrative affords wide-ranging areas to be examined without sacrificing depth. In terms of the benefits of using the website, it did enable the students the opportunity for personal reflection. It was easy to access and they could access cases that were relevant and of interest. And the online templates were really good at helping organise their thinking before they had to share their thinking with others. They did identify some limitations and these related to the lack of immediate communication with others during the analysis process and also difficulty re replicating face-to-face -face analysis. It is very promising to see that the pre-service teachers felt more confident going into the classroom as a result of participating in these workshops and the pre-service teachers felt an increased likelihood that classroom readiness increased as a result of participating in this process. So overall there was an increased perception of classroom readiness as a result of engaging in the case writing and interpretation process and there were perceived benefits for pre-service teachers working within a community of learners that reflected important elements of good learning communities. Where are we going? Well, in terms of research expansion, we plan to submit applications for an ARC discovery and an Office of Learning and Teaching grant. We'd like to know a little bit more about the theory practice disconnections and also analyse some aspects of case learning to determine the effect on narrative uh, epistemological skills. We'd also like to examine how social networks of pre-service teachers impact on their learning through this case study process and also identify the ways in which the website can be used for data collection about case learning, theory practice, classroom readiness and also resilience. In terms of resource development, we'd like to increase the number of cases on our database and website to include the following areas, ATSL standards, curriculum areas, locations and career stages. We'd like to better understand how the website can be used throughout the case learning process as well as a method of data collection. And we'd also like to continue the professional learning series in Alice Springs and in Adelaide and embed these within the professional experience units. Thank you for the opportunity to showcase our research. Alan and I are really pleased that we had the opportunity to do this. If you do have any questions, please don't hesitate to contact us. Thank you.